Hey, it's Lucky. Today marks one month of using Godot. And let me tell you, I love it. I'm going to be talking about all the projects I did, why I did those projects, and what I learned from them. There's a lot to cover, so let's get started. The first project we're going to be taking a look at is this forest demo I did. I followed a tutorial, which I'll link in the comments, about making a forest scene. I made a simple inventory system, added some quests to the game, just to fill out the world. This project was never going to go anywhere. I did it more as a benchmark to see what Godot was capable of. It surprised me in a lot of ways. After this project, I was convinced of Godot's capabilities. It was time to leave the tutorials behind and start a project of my own. I decided to do a world generator, a city to be precise. Inspired by other YouTubers who had taken on the PS1 slash N64 style, I decided to make this tile set with these props and generate a city. This project got me comfortable in the GD scripting language, and after this, I was up for something more technical. I found this guy who was making procedurally animated animals, and I thought I could do something similar, so I made this creepy guy. After this, I did some loose projects. First, I made this pixel display for generating these retro monitors. I also made this magic spawning effect, inspired by Hogwarts Legacy. Now, it was time for my most challenging project yet. I wanted to do a third-person game, fully animated, with an inventory system, weapons, gear, placeable objects, enemies, you name it. It took me four days and one sleepless night, but I got it done. This project has a lot of cool things going on behind the scenes. All the items and weapons are described in a JSON file and then read by the script and put in the game. This way, you can add items or weapons without touching a line of code. This project left me feeling more capable than ever. But I failed to see one thing. I've made another generic zombie game. There are a million of these games out there, and I wasn't going to be set apart by this project. I needed something small, something relatable. A little character, perhaps. That's where this guy comes in. Now I know a thousand upvotes doesn't seem like a lot to some of you, but for me, it felt like winning the lottery. This is where we stand today. One month later, four projects and a small community. I want to thank you guys so much for 250 subscribers. I'm going to keep making devlogs on this project and other projects. So if you like what you see, consider a subscription.